Regarding industrial robotics, Japan is well ahead of the rest of the globe. The nation has seven of the top 10 robot manufacturers in the world, making it a leader in cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning. The effective development of robotic hardware depends on these technologies. Today, in this AI Tech Academy video, we'll review Japan's most recent vision, the public availability of pregnant robots. Japan is, without a doubt, at the forefront of industrial robotics, as it is the world's leading exporter of robots in terms of both shipment volume and active units. The country also serves as a testing ground for new robotics applications. Companies such as Kawasaki, Fanuc, OTC Daihen, Epson, Denso and Mitsubishi are leading the way in industrial robotics in Japan. Japan is also a key hub for technological companies, resulting in a continual influx of foreign investment. Regarding transporting robots, Japan is far ahead of other economies. Because of cutting-edge R&D and practical applications, Japan dominates the robotics sector. Robotics technology's rapid growth has the potential to drastically impact Japanese society. It's worth mentioning that Japan has long been highly invested in robotics research and development. And since the 1970s, the development of industrial robotics in Japan has been underway. The electronics and automotive industries were among the earliest adopters of industrial robotics. Industrial robotics are also proved essential in other sectors and workers' physical workloads. Today's big revelation is that Japan is not only a robot capable of bearing children, but it is available to the public too. A fully functional robot wife is now up for grabs in Japan, and she may be yours for the right price. Considering that the gadget costs 345000 you might decide against purchasing it. On the other hand, underground corporation takes advantage of it to generate revenue for themselves. One robot can be purchased for $1 million, but only if you've been permitted to do so by the company. This female robot can cook, clean, say lovely things, do chores, and even get pregnant in an artificial womb. These are but a few examples of the things it can accomplish. On the other hand, many people think this should spell the end of women's rights. In the meantime, Japan has been at the forefront of robotics research for quite some time, and the country's leaders are committed to increasing the presence of robots in everyday life. In many Japanese households, the absence of one would feel incomplete. In addition, Japanese robots improve worker safety, productivity, and quality. This is a kind and quick reminder to all of our viewers that they must hit the bell symbol to remain informed about upcoming content. Now let's look at the example of one of Japan's most famous and publicly adored female robots in Japan named Erika. Erika is revered as one of the most beautiful and astute humanoids, and she is credited with ushering in a new era in Japan's long-established culture of robots. This extremely advanced humanoid was created through a collaborative effort by the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International, Osaka University, and the University of Kyoto. Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, who is based at Osaka University and works at the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory there, acts as the leader of the team that was responsible for creating out the process of developing Erika's face. Professor Ishiguro looked to the features of the faces of 30 beautiful women for inspiration. Erika can now respond to questions with looks that are disturbingly similar to those of humans. Over this time, Erika has made progress with her speech, and she is now better able to comprehend and respond to questions. The Actroid Lady is a groundbreaking example of a straightforward machine comparable to the devices known as androids or gynoids in science fiction novels. Japan has now made these fictional machines a reality. The Actroid Woman is an example of this. Up to this point, these descriptors were used only for fictitious robots. However, the Actroid Woman demonstrates that they may also be applied to real machines. The Actroid F telepresence robot has the additional capability of imitating a range of crucial functions, such as blinking, speaking, and breathing, amongst others. In essence, everything the human does, only better. The reply models are interactive robots with artificial intelligence capable of recognizing and understanding speech and responding in a manner comparable to how people would. As a result, our culture has progressed to the point where Japanese robots are capable of what is known as an ultra-hyper-realistic facial movement. They focus on even the most minute details, such as the slightest frowns, smiles, and right and left glances. Yet, as the number of female bots increases, people have increasing the innate fear of non-living creatures moving in human-like shapes. This phenomenon, known as the Uncanny Valley, 
describes the feeling one gets when one sees a non-living thing mimicking human behavior. On the other hand, Japanese technology will never disappear. Let's say that it's something that nature has implanted in us. It is not feasible to avoid being exposed to it. The phobia can be overcome if the shape is designed to be substantially more beautiful than is physically impossible. Recent developments in hyper-realistic skin have been the subject of much interest due to this. The growth of hyper-realistic appearances opened the way for the rise of hyper-realistic words, and now it's the rise of hyper-realistic sentiments that are following in their footsteps. It is essential to be aware of the following information regarding female robots in Japanese culture. In 2011, it was projected that the global's market value for industrial robots was $8.497 billion, with Japanese companies accounting for 50.2% of the total. The nation of Japan forecasts that during the next 15 years, the robot sector will employ more than 1 million people and bring in revenues of more than $70 billion. This is not only owing to Japan's advanced technology, but also to the influence that the nation's robot culture has had. Since then, Japan has become the womb for which many mechanical works of art have emerged, such as the Mazinger Z, Gundam, Robotech, Evangelion, Transformers, and many others. On a separate note, were you aware that the humanoid robot Sophia has more than 600 posts and 166,000 followers on the social networking platform Instagram? The firm may be publishing these to promote their product, but our best guess is that she's the one who's responsible for doing so. Looking back on it, we have high hopes that it will meet her expectations and that she'll be happy with it. And if this is the case, perhaps she will also be pleased to learn that we are now completely capable of making robots that are capable of completing all of activities that a human is capable of such as one of the industry's functional human-like robots in Japan. Is this not correct? For decades, Japanese researchers have been at the forefront of the effort to make human companion robots a reality. And now, it's become our reality. So what do you think of this new female bot that can not only bear children, but is capable of everything a human can do? And that's the end of the video. And now, if you found the content helpful, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, AI Tech Academy, for regular content just like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.